This was February the 23rd. There was snow outside. And I kept hearing noises in the house. My daughter had a friend spent the night, and I thought it was the girls talking. And it wasn't them, it was our smoke alarm. Emergency. And this smoke alarm was talking. There's smoke. I could see smoke rolling on the ceiling. In the sunroom. My work began at 4. And I got a Nest notification at 6.01, saying that there was smoke in the house. Of course, I started calling home. Me and Savannah just thought, you know, she was up and she burnt bacon on the stove or something. Emergency. I ran to the sunroom and it had already engulfed the whole sunroom. Finally, I couldn't breathe. So I got down on the floor to crawl out of the sunroom and that's when I found the dog. She had already passed out on the floor. So I grabbed her and went out the front door. My daughter and her friend were out there calling at 911. The noise, that's something that I don't think I'm ever gonna forget. The popping and the cracking and the glass breaking, and it was just continuous. It was roughly around six o'clock in the morning. Our pagers went off for a structure fire. When I got on scene, the house was already fully involved. There was heavy fire coming out of the roof, a heavy fire coming out of the doors. I mean, it just caught fast, and it went fast. What saved that family was they had smoke detectors, and their smoke detectors alerted the family that there is a fire in the house, and everybody got out. You know, the house we lived in wasn't old. It was built in 2000. I had a space heater plugged up in the wall. Never had a problem with it. The outlet just got overpowered. You just never expect it to happen to you. Then at the end of the day, when the fire department has left and, you know, you're stuck, where are we going to go tonight? You know, what are we going to do? And the community pulled together and helped us like you wouldn't believe. People were dropping envelopes off of money, and some of them would have no names on them. We would go to restaurants and we would go to pay for the bill and somebody had picked up the bill. And once we get back on our feet and everything, we'll do the same thing. We are safe. <laughs> yep, we are safe. Her friend's safe. You know, then you have to pick up the pieces and go on and we've decided we are going to rebuild back on that property. You know, I want to be able to rebuild what we lost. <laughs>